Hi there, Genuine here. Today is National Unicorn Day, April 9th, which also happens to be my birthday. Isn't that funny? So I'd like to read you a story today called, whoops, The Grumpy Unicorn. I met Jen down in San Diego and she, Jen Hodge, wrote and illustrated this book, The Grumpy Unicorn. That means she wrote the words and drew the pictures. Pretty amazing, huh? So let's dive in. The Grumpy Unicorn. I'm here by the river in Rogue River Park in Southern Oregon. Okay, the Grumpy Unicorn. Too genuine, sparkle on. Love, Jen Hodge. I attend the School of Mythical, Mystical, Magical Creatures. Say scream! Arr! This is my class. It's filled with the most mythical monsters with terrible teeth and terrible claws. A very frightful bunch indeed. And then there's me. A big powder pink puff ball of cuteness, all brightly colored, too sparkly, not to notice, unicorn. Looks kind of grumpy, huh? Uh, can you turn it down, Twinkle Toes? I am like a shimmering spotlight that never shuts off. When I walk, a rainbow follows right behind me. Oh, it's so embarrassing sometimes. Ha ha ha, ha ha. Oh, why couldn't I be anything but a unicorn? Like a dragon. Dragons are so cool with their scaly winged backs and fire breathing power. Burning villages could be my hobby. I would definitely be frightening then. Run! It's the great big dragon! Ah! Woo! Help! If only I could breathe burning flames of death instead of this magical sparkle dust. Look, what does he plan to do? Twinkle us to Hades? Ha ha ha! Isn't he sweet? Maybe, maybe I could be a griffin. Ah! With great large eagle claws and then villagers would be afraid I would snatch them up. Huh. Yeah, the only villager who will fear these claws would be the local beautician. And that's out of fear of not having enough glitter in stock. I would even settle for being a Caldonian boar. At least they have big, scary yellow tusks. Maybe I could get some implanted. <gasps> ah, maybe not. Oh, why, oh, why couldn't I be anything but a unicorn? Hello, says the spider. What do you want, super scary spider? Come to show off your creepy crawly body and extra pairs of legs? What do you need with all those legs anyways? May I ask you a favor, says the spider. Why, what would a super scary creature like you want with a not so scary creature like me? The spider must have whispered in her ear. You want me to do what? Said the unicorn. And you know what that little spider whispered into my fluffy pink ear? Paint rainbows over the village. Spruce things up with sparkle. Play with children because children love unicorns. Puff 
balls. I will not. But then that eight-legged friend did make a good point. A town so dark and dim does need a little sparkle. If everything was scary all of the time, eventually everyone would stop being afraid. Hey, mythical monster dude, he says casually to the big scary monster. Well, maybe one rainbow couldn't hurt. Huh? And perhaps a little sparkle? Perhaps, perhaps another rainbow over there and just a little more sparkle over here. I liked what my rainbow's sparkles and glittery goodness had done to the town. Thanks to not so grumpy unicorn. And so did the villagers. They got sparkles in their hair. And the mythical monsters too. Bah! Ah! I learned it is important to be me. Boing, 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 says the rainbows. Because nobody else can. Not a dragon, not a griffin, and not even a Caledonian boar. Hey, it's not fluffy, says the girl. I'm glad I wasn't anything but a unicorn. Now that unicorn isn't grumpy anymore, is it? Yeah. The end. Just be you. Sparkle on. That's The Grumpy Unicorn by Jen, read by Jen Yuin on National Unicorns Day, April 9th, also my birthday. So leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of the new story, The Grumpy Unicorn. I'd love to connect you with the artist so you can see some of her other drawings online. Thanks for watching. I always look forward to sharing more stories with you. So stay tuned for more stories another day. Bye for now.